Great, so I'll um, present the summary of our discussion for um, group three. So we discussed financial cooperation um, aligned with countries um, needing um, needs and advocacy. We can go to the next slide. So the objectives of our session um, so the overall cross-cutting objective was to identify ways to better mutualize our respective expertise, specialties, experiences, and opportunities for financing to support countries to achieve our final common goal to end cholera. And then specific objectives are, of our group included to discuss financial cooperation and advocacy needs and support. And then as others, <laughs> identify two to three um, key recommendations that can be followed upon um, and assessed during next year's annual meeting. Next slide. So we had a, a really rich discussion that included a lot of participation, both from country and country level partners, country level, and then also um, partners and donors. So these are just um, a few of the points that, that um, came up. So recognizing, of course, that um, in the context of um, COVID-19, that a lot of finances have been diverted both internally and also externally from countries. And that it's really important to, um, to evaluate this and to be realistic about this as we move forward in, um, in, in projecting needs and also um, funding. Um, we talked about the need for an approach to more uh, approach more anchored in sustainability and that this should be included in, in plans that this should be included um, in requests for financing, that if countries maybe are having difficulties with developing a sustainability plan, that that can be included in the financing, that they can have consultants that will really help that, that donors really want to know what will happen when they quit um, paying, that, that the investments will be long-term. Need for improved communication and collaboration amongst different stakeholders, um, and specifically regarding advocacy. There, this came up a lot that, that really, it, um, there's a sentiment that different people are working on advocacy and financing at different levels, uh, maybe in their own spheres, but really a desire to work on this coherently, not just for improved efficacy so that um, they're not redoubling efforts, but also to learn from each other and so that it's really a, a group effort. Need, to divert, ver, need for de-verticalized approach to cholera control, including advocacy and financing. So this is a theme that we've heard over and over again over the last couple of days, and it come up, came up again during our discussion. And at, at different levels, so at one level we discussed the importance of um, including different ministries. So not just Ministry of Finance, not just Ministry of Health, but many different ministries are involved in cholera control and these different ministries need to be involved in, um, in national plans, but also in financing and in advocacy. We also discussed the need um, that has come up over and over again of a multi-sectoral approach and that this will actually appeal to donors um, as they know that their investment isn't just for cholera, but any many, any money spent on cholera, wash, for example, wash promotion will actually have multiple, multiple effects and can really affect a lot of different diseases and to use this as a, as a key advocacy point. Um, the need for more structured way for advocacy. Really, again, there, there's a feeling that different partners are working at advocacy at different levels, that countries are struggling a little bit and they really want to know how to go about um, improving their advocacy um, and improving financing. Um, then the importance of including community engagement into the country level strategy to ensure that financial institutions will also contribute to this component. So individuals that are already looking ahead that are excited about the community engagement component and really wanna make sure that this can also be um, included um, in advocacy and that there will be funding for this very important component of cholera control. Need for support at country level in terms of fundraising to ensure oper oper <laughs> of the NCPs, that it, some of these NCPs are really nice on paper, but that actually turning them into reality can be really, really difficult. And so um, need, um, need for more support um, for that. And then ensure a strong articulation of existing country mechanisms and resources. So if we can move to the next slide for our, um, the key recommendations. Again, there are a lot of different recommendations, but really trying to focalize on or, or focus on recommendations that can be followed, that we can follow through with and that can be achieved when we look back um, upon these recommendations next year. So first develop a more structured way for collaboration to advance advocacy. Um, 
maybe not necessarily another working group, but really a structured way that partners can come together and work together for a more streamlined um, approach. Second, develop a mapping showing existing financing mechanisms and type um, of support provided by partners. So this uh, again gets to this need for better collaboration, better coordination, but also better transparency that we know where money is already being spent, that we can avoid duplication, that, um, that we can show the where investment is going and that that will encourage future investment. And then lastly, um, to really make sure to engage relevant mil um, ministries beyond just health and finance. And that's it. Um, so I will hand it back over to Pete.